Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be doing a get ready with me and I'm going to show you my makeup, hair, outfit, jewellery, fragrances, just basically everything that it takes me to get ready. It's really boiling. If I look like my skin is really shiny, it's A because I've done my skincare and my skincare routine is very, very, very very glowy and because i've got a studio light right next to me and also because it's so boiling and i'm really warm so that is another reason but i'm going to show you all of the things that i've said this video is also in collaboration with so honey i think that's how you pronounce it i'll put their name on the screen this video is in collaboration with them they very kindly sent me one of their necklaces it's a personalized necklace i am going to talk about this a little bit more when we get further into the video but basically i will link their website down in the description if you just want to go and check it out they've got loads of different kind of jewelry pieces on there personalized bits and bobs they've got loads of different necklaces on there in the sale as i'm looking at it now bits are in the sale so go over check out the link that i leave in the check out the link that i leave below if you've got like a pet or a dog they've even got a personalized dog bone name necklace which i think will be so cute but the one that they sent me was the engraved family tree necklace i chose that one out and put my family tree on it but like i said i will talk about that a little bit later on in the video but i just wanted to mention that that is going to be linked down below and thank you to them for sending it to me so now onto the makeup side of things that's the first thing that i do well the first thing i do when i'm getting ready is my skincare but that is a separate video like my skincare routine is something else so i'm just putting my headband on if you want to get one of these i sell them on my website freshfaceskincare.shop i will link it in the description i sell skincare products but i also sell accessories like headbands these are extremely popular they went out of stock for ages and couldn't get them in stock because of coronavirus and now they're back so i've got three different colors blue cream and pink but yeah they're just really good for like when you're doing your skincare when you're doing your makeup so i'm going to start off with my makeup i'm not going to be chatty through this i'm just going to talk about what products i'm using and then skip on so we're just going to try and not make this video like 10 hours long first of all i am going to prime with the nivea men post sensitive shave balm i know there was a trend everyone was using this years ago nikki tutorials i think started the trend and yeah it's just got glycerin in it so it's really nice and tacky on the skin and i just like it adds a nice silicone base i always start off with my eyes so i'm gonna grab my concealer out of my makeup bag this is my makeup bag my best friend steph got me this ages ago so i'm just gonna grab my concealer i'm using the body shop matte clay concealer in the shade number 10 and i'm just going to use a little brush take a little bit of that product and i'm just going to pop it onto my eye so i'm actually going to zoom you in a little bit now hello um <laughs> hello i just want you to be able to see a little bit better so i'm going to take some of that product and i'm just going to pop it straight onto my eyelid when you're doing your makeup and what i've learned especially it doesn't mean to say i've always done this um but what i've learned is that little small layers are better than just shoving loads of layers on like you can achieve kind of a flawless base without having full 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 coverage everything and i think that's what we need to learn is that sometimes less is more it doesn't mean that you can't use a million products it just means that you don't need to slap on loads of each product okay so i'm gonna take my beauty sponge just real techniques beauty sponge and i'm just going to blend that out ever so slightly doesn't need too much blending but you know here we go right i'm now going to set that in place with a little bit of powder this is powder from collection i'm now going to use this brow spoolie which is also sold on my website like I said, linked in the description. They come in packs of three for just £1.49. But I'm just going to brush through my brows and then just kind of brush the hairs upwards just to make them a little bit fluffier. I'm now going to take this brow compact from the body shop. It's the brow and liner kit in the shade number three. I really, really like this. Literally, a little goes a long way. I've been using this for ages since i first started doing the body shop at home which i don't do anymore but literally that was back in nearly a year ago 
this has lasted me nearly a year. What is going on? But I'm going to do like an ombre effect. So I'm going to start off with this lighter brown on the inner corner and then work out with a little bit of the black on the outer corner and produce a bit of a wing. Yes, I do kind of shave my eyebrows to be a bit shorter just because my brows tend to come down quite a lot here, which means that I can't do eyeshadow as much. So I just cut them off so that I can then make my brows a bit longer. Don't pluck them. I don't pluck my eyebrows because if you pluck things, over time the hairs won't come back whereas if you shave it the hairs will come back so as long as you run it with the shaving it's fine By the way, my skin's not the best at the minute because I didn't do my skincare routine for two nights in a row. Trust me, skincare products work and drinking two litres of water a day really works. So, just saying. So, I've now done my brows. I'm going to immediately move straight on to eyeshadow and try and just whiz through. Don't really want to talk about it too much because this video is really so long. Um, but I'm using my Soph X revolution eyeshadow palette i did my top seven eyeshadow palette video which i will link down below if you want to go and watch that i filmed that recently and this was in that video so i'm just going to take this pale white shade over my lids i'm then going to use these two mixed together as my like transition there's a bit of fallout because i accidentally broke the one in the corner which was not great but yeah, just use it as a transition shade, just kind of buffing it quite high. Then I'm just going to take this like pinky shade here and I'm just going to put that like on my eyelid as like a base. I'm now going to go into another Revolution palette. This is the Revolution Intensely Pigmented Foiled Eyeshadow Palette. Again, that was in that video that I filmed. And I'm just going to use my finger. I'm going to go for like a pink eye look today. But I'm going to start off with this like really, really pale um, kind of white shade almost. These are amazing. I love that palette so much. Sorry, I got carried away and forgot I was filming. Um, I just used this pink shade in the middle here, like pinky purple, and I just kind of blended that in. Now on the kind of outer corner, I'm gonna use this like really pink shade here. I'm just gonna take some of that. You can see why I get makeup all over my hands. But yeah, I'm gonna take some of that. And then because I want it to be like more of a pinky look, I'm gonna go back into this palette I'm going to take that pinky shade on my brush and just kind of pop that into the kind of outer corner, avoiding the inner corner because that's more like a whiter colour and I'm just kind of winging that out ever so slightly. Okay, now we've laid that pink down, I'm just going to kind of deepen the crease a little bit using these two brown shades. I'm just going to go into those. As you can see, I just use a lot of eyeshadow on my eyes because I just enjoy it. And it's just like painting, it's just fun. And then to really deepen up the crease, final shade is this black one. So I'm just taking a bit of that on the brush, dust off like literally all of it, just because I just want the tiniest little bit just to deepen the look a little bit. And I don't know if I'm gonna be doing um, anything on the lower lash line because I will do that kind of afterwards, but we will see. And now I'm gonna use foundation. This is the Body Shop Fresh New Foundation in the shade Coyote Blossom number 15. My, I did a whole video on this foundation. I will link it down below if I can remember. Um, but I did do a whole video on this foundation, reviewed it, and overall I was very happy with it. However, now I personally do think that this is probably slightly too dewy for my skin type. Obviously I do have oily skin and my skincare routine is very glowy and I like my skincare routine to be glowy. I'm not going to change it. 
because I feel like glowy products just have so many like benefits to the skin and just the softness, how it feels and how it looks. And I'm not gonna change that. But my foundation, this one in particular, is very dewy. A lot of people have said it is, you know, quite glowy and some people would love that, but I think for me, it's just a little bit too much. So throughout the day, even when I've powdered and when I've mattified everything down, it does go quite kind of glowy immediately. So just bear that in mind, but I am gonna use it up. I do really like the finish it gives in terms of like how it blends into the skin and it just looks like it's your skin, like it does not look cakey one bit and that's what's amazing about this foundation. And I'm just gonna go in with the concealer I used to prime my eyelids at the start with, the MAC Clay Concealer from The Body Shop. And I'm just gonna pop this concealer in the areas of my face where I want a little bit more coverage or where I want to like brighten. So underneath my eyes, chisel out the eyeshadow a little bit so just kind of produce a line i will blend it out in a minute don't you don't you worry i'm now gonna powder i'm gonna use my collection pressed powder if i can find my powder brush i swear i just had it Oh, it's here right in front of me. Oops. Right, I'm now gonna powder. So I'm just gonna use this. As you can see, it's so dewy. It, oh my God. Look at the fallout of that. Does mattify my face, but not enough because this foundation will be dewy no matter what powder is used. Now I am gonna contour very lightly using this sleek palette. I'm just gonna use the contour shade. I'm gonna bronze up using this, this collection matte bronzer. Very nice bronzer. I actually do really like this bronzer and I'm just gonna bronze up around my face. I, even when I'm doing like a simple makeup look, will always use bronzer because I do think that bronzer does make a humongous difference um, to the color of your face. And I just really like using bronzer. So we're just gonna keep doing it. Well, look at the difference in the sides. Like maybe you prefer the side without bronzer, but. I don't give a damn. Right, for blusher, I'm gonna use this blush from Lidl. Literally, it's just a really nice blusher from Lidl in shade number three, Sweet Harmony. So I'm gonna just pop some of that on. If you're applying blusher, you wanna apply it kind of up your cheekbones. I am gonna do a video where I show like things that you can do to your makeup to make your face look a lot better than, you know, using the same products but just placing them differently on your face. And blush it is one of those things where you wanna place it up the top of your cheekbones rather than on the apples of your cheek if you want your face to look more lifted. Um, because obviously if you put it here, it'll make your face look a bit more, do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna do that video at some point. Already the dewiness is coming back into my skin and I've not powdered long ago. But saying that, I am gonna apply highlighter. I'm gonna use this highlighter palette here. Don't know what the brand is. Something cosmetic, something from a different country that I can't pronounce that I got off of Amazon, I think. And it broke when I got it, so that's not great. But the highlighters themselves are actually quite nice and really, really extremely super duper trooper pigmented so a little does go a long way can you see that right now i'm gonna do mascara and i have got a little trick to show you that works my mascara is actually extremely old and really annoying but this one is from Lidl, it basically ran out, but to give your lashes like a fuller look and to make them look more kind of voluminous and thicker, take an eyeliner and use it almost like a primer. So what I do is I just kind of scooch it along my lashes. I don't know why I said scooch, but I just brush it, that's the correct word, brush it along my lashes like this. And it's almost like, you know, almost like a thin layer of mascara. And it kind of just, gets that kind of product stuck in place. If you get it anyway, you know, don't don't panic. You can wipe it off when it's dried. 
and I just leave that on there for just like a minute and whilst that's on my eyes I'm gonna do my lips I'm not sure if it's in focus the camera but shall we just hope and pretend it is anyway because we're near the end of the video I'm gonna take a little brush and I'm just gonna use this lip crayon from Beauty Big Bang it's so old honestly like I probably shouldn't be using this but I'm gonna um they sent it to me in a previous video about two maybe three years ago now and I'm just gonna line my lips I think when you line your lips you want like a darker shade or like a brownie shade okay that's quite brown but I'm here for it I like it and I'm then going to take this lip gloss which I was also sent this is from Nubian or whatever however you pronounce it and it's running quite low now but basically it's a lip plumping lip gloss you know you've got a lip plumping lip gloss when it makes your lips tingle like a lot like almost a, a warm burn um, but yeah, I think that's everything. So I've done my makeup today. I don't have a setting spray. I haven't been using setting spray because my foundation is so dewy that I just don't want any more due to the look. But I used to use setting sprays when I had like a more matte foundation. But this is my makeup done. Now let's move on to hair. Okay, so I just forgot to mention that I did also just quickly do my mascara after I forgot to film that. But for hair, I'm now going to take off my headband and take out my hair out of this whatever that is. And let it down i'm not going to do much to my hair today mainly because i don't want this video to be really long and also because i'm just going to do what i normally do it's a get ready with me on a normal day so this is my hair what it looks like i washed it yesterday sort of yesterday afternoon and this is what it looks like kind of natural if i blow dry my hair after i've washed it my hair is poker straight like honestly it's so straight but if I leave it to naturally dry, it's got a slight kind of wave to it. I like having really long hair because it means that I don't really have to straighten my hair anymore because it's kind of straight anyway because I think the weight of the hair just like weighs everything down and makes it straighter. So that's what I like about long hair. But I'm just going to give it a brush. I'm using this brush from The Knot Doctor. This is honestly like the best brush ever. They sent it to me. A long while ago now and honestly I literally love these brushes they do not feel any pain at all I really really would highly recommend these and um, obviously this video is not in collaboration with them so literally my hair today is just gonna be this what a tutorial brush your hair and we're done that is what my hair is gonna be um I'm gonna do jewelry now and then I will do outfits so my jewelry I've got these little bangles I'm not entirely sure where I got them from I think probably just like Primark or something so I'm just popping three of those on this hand which is what I always do and then I've got this ring which was sent to me a while ago I did a video with them I can't remember where it's from but apologies and I just pop it on this finger here on my hand and yeah my tattoo hand where my little hippo is so that always goes on that hand and that's like my jewellery for kind of that part of things and then I use this so this is where kind of part of the video is in collaboration with So Honey remember I will link down their website in the description please go and check it out if you're interested in anything personalised their prices are really 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 decent for what you get and yeah this is what it looks like so I will put it on in a second but I just wanted to kind of show you so this is the necklace this is the family tree one that I got I will come up close to the camera just so that you really can see it okay so this is what it looks like now on my family tree I just have my dad my mum my brother Tommy I also included my boyfriend Jamie just because I'm just including him as part of my family tree because I just wanted to fit the names on there um, and then I've also got my own name on there as well so obviously you can do a pet name or anything like that like if you've got pets then you can include your pet's name on there but my pet's name is the same name as my dad my hamster is called Dean that's also my dad's name so I would feel like I would have my dad and Dean on the same one so it would just be weird okay but this is what the necklace looks like up close I'm now going to put it on this is what my necklace looks like i'm not going to be wearing this outfit i am going to be wearing something else and i'll show you that in a second but i just love like how this looks and i just really like it so like i said they do have loads of other personalized stuff on their website 
in terms of necklaces they've also got bracelets as well so you can get again personalized bracelets and some of these things i actually think look really nice and that i maybe want to buy in the future so we will see but yeah really really like these and they also have rings and earrings as well i don't have my ears pierced but you might have probably do have but yeah you can get personalized rings you can get personalized earrings it's definitely a brand that specializes more in like personalized things so when it comes to the specific necklace that i got i will just quickly talk about that one specifically this is the engraved family tree necklace it's 39 80 dollars obviously i live in england i deal with pounds so i'm not entirely sure how much that is in pounds um but they've got a gold one that you can get they've got a silver one which is the one that i've got here um and then they've got a rose gold colored one as well and that's a really nice one i was kind of toying between the rose gold one and the silver one but i definitely am very happy that i got the silver one and yeah that's just what it looks like up close and then obviously it comes in a little box in fact i should probably have shown you that very silly yeah it comes in a little box like this and just open it up there it is it's like presented nicely in there everything comes safe if you get it as like a gift for somebody then it is great because you've got the packaging as well to go with that so yeah these are just like the three different shades that you can get next to each other obviously um you can get whatever you want if you wanted something like this you just choose the names of the people that you want choose how many names that you want on your actual kind of design and then you just choose the length of the chain that you would like and then you also will obviously go and pay so that is it for the like collaboration section of the video i will link down below their website and this specific necklace that i've got thank you for them for sending this to me i really love it and i'm so happy with it so please go check it out but now let's move on to the outfit portion of this video i'm going to attempt to film my outfit today in here apologies for the mess i am basically tidying up my bed but basically i have on this top here which i should probably tuck in um this is what i bought ages ago and it's basically i don't know where from i'm misguided or something but it's like an off the shoulder top which i wouldn't have normally worn before i lost weight but now i'm happy to wear it and i'm happy to wear it when it's sunny like it is today i'm wearing this skirt which is from i think new look heck knows or h&m maybe i'm not sure i've had it for years and it fits me better than it's ever fit me before because even when i originally bought it it was still a little bit tight um whereas now it's a tad bit loose around the waist um but yeah this is my outfit today um don't know about shoes i'm not a shoe person i don't have any nice shoes well i do have nice shoes but not every day with nice shoes i've got heels and stuff um but yeah this is my outfit hopefully it looks okay on the camera and obviously i've got my necklace and everything my hair my makeup all that good stuff everything is done i would do a slight twirl but my hair is extremely long as you can probably see just to finish off the look i'm gonna spray with the japanese cherry blossom spray from the body shop and just kind of spray here and around just to finish off everything and this is basically the finished look so you can now see all of the mess that I've got on my bed, but this is basically the finished get ready with me. Remember to go and check out the links in the description at my website, So Honey's website, everything like that. But yeah, this is the finished overall completed look for today. Get ready with me. So thanks for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Please subscribe. Goodbye.